Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Russian Fishing 4 and we are back here at Volkov River and it is a late night as we jump in here but last time I was doing a little bit of trolling here and to this time I'm going to actually avoid the boat this time. We're going to take a look around at some of the things that are available here and one of the things that's actually pretty cool is you can go to the middle island through a ferry which is right here where these signs are let me show you here real quick guys take a look at the map what this ferry will do is as you can see where this arrow is it will take you all the way over to here without having to have a boat which is great so you, that's how you can get to this location if you don't have a boat available to you so that's what we're going to go ahead and do and it's, almost, it's pretty much immediate let me go ahead and and see it says ferry you just hit E and boom you're there that fast so we are over here now as I said and there is a dock here that you can fish at but there's also a grocery store and there's a tackle store and a fish market so you can sell your fish you don't have to go that all the way back and here's the bridge you can also fish off this which is a nice place to fish but the big reason I like to come over here is the camp is over here and there's been a lot of changes and improvements with the cooking way 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 many changes and I'm gonna come over here and show you guys some of the things we're gonna go ahead and sit there and try to cook here you can also dry fish, you can grill fish, but you have to get your levels up to do that. There's a fish dryer over here, it looks like. I don't have any fish to dry, though. But for the campfire, you do have to get some wood and some matches. But they're not very pricey. But hit Y to start your fire, just like that. And I don't know if you can light this little lantern up or not, but might not be a bad idea if you can no you can't light it I thought you could oh well let's go ahead and see what we can do about cooking here alright these are some of the options you have to things that you can make uh, you've got to have the ingredients so like you gotta have the potatoes and whatnot but let me see here I don't know what all I have that I can cook I think I have some pork maybe Let's see you can also fry the fish that you've caught so if you've got fish in your inventory you can cook them up or you can cook them with the baked you know like the potatoes and whatnot but let me see here I don't think I have anything here that I can really cook maybe I have sausage on a stick Yep, I do. But you just kind of make it and gives you a little more tasty food that's a little more sustaining. And each time you do it, your cooking skills goes up and you unlock new things that you can cook. Let me see, I think I might have some cocoa. Yeah, but I need condensed milk, I think. And I don't have that. But you have to have a Fiskarna tea kettle to make that and tea. Let me see here. Don't have any coffee. I need a... I do have tea. So go ahead and make that. Ooh, I got more than one. A 
Okay, new available baked potatoes with fish. So I just unlocked that. So I must have got a bunch of tea at some point. I don't know when I got that, honestly. But I'm going to go ahead and... But as you can see, you can do these other things. Shish kebab, baked apples, salmon steak. When you unlock those, and you can cook, catch and cook them. And over here is the drying the fish. Roach, dried roach, sishols, taran, whatever those are. And then the smokehouse. You can smoke the fish that you catch. So that's pretty cool. And all this is available and open to you guys. And of course, you can store your stuff here in the tent if you so desire. All right, I think we're going to go do some bottom fishing or feeder fishing or however you want to call it. I think I might have gone the wrong way here. Let me see, where am I? Oh, I'm way over here. Actually, I might try fishing here for a minute. Haven't been over here much. Actually, I don't think I've been over here at all. There's a hole right out there, but on the other side is a real good spot. Actually, that's a very tiny hole compared to this one over here. So I might still go ahead and go over here. Yeah, we're just going to go over here. Bypass the camp. Yeah, and also over here there's a huge dam that you can go fish next to if you get out on the boat. See right there? It's a monster dam. That's an excellent place to fish too from what I understand. I haven't been out there yet. So, hmm. Looks like another campfire. I don't think you can actually light anything there, but... But where we're going to go here, guys, is right over here. Let me see if this is it. Eh, it's closer. Let's get a little further. Yeah, that map really helps. There should be a beach over here that we can fish out of. Yeah, once you see that bridge, I think this is the one I'm thinking of here. Yep. See that big hole right out there? This is where we want. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get our gear set up here. Now, on this one, I've got a one-odd hook. And some fish. I don't have any ground bait on it, but I don't really need it. Not for this. This has got 46 pound test on it, guys, so this should catch something big without any issues whatsoever if I get lucky enough here. Whoa. Whoop. I must have hit my touchpad. Sorry about that. There we go. That's better. Now let's take the retrieval speed up to 30, the friction brake up to 20, and put her down. And then we're going to slide to the right. Now on this one, I've got night crawlers. And I think I might put a ground bait on there this time. Let's see. I've just got some of this ready-made ground bait. We've got a S1 hook. I think I'm going to change that. Make it a little bit bigger. Let's see. Yeah, let's put another one out on there. And we've got night crawlers. This has got 30 pound test on it, and 
pretty good gear here, guys. This should be able to handle just about anything I catch. Now that one really casts far. There we go. Let's take the retrieval speed up. Alright. Alright, and then last but not least, I'm going to do a little bit of spin casting while these are in the water. Now, after looking at things, I realized that this particular lure, it's called the Karuna Suturi 22 gram. This is a really good lure, apparently, for uh, catfish and burbot. Actually, the best ones have been caught with this. So, I'm going to give that a try, but before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and eat something here, guys, because I didn't realize just how hungry I am, so I'm going to eat some sausage on a stick. Maybe some, uh... So this kvass. And a sugar duck. That should give me some energy. Because my energy is way down there. Alright, we're going to see just how well this does. What is going on? I have really have some issues. Hmm. I think my mouse is starting. I thought it was my touchpad, but I think my mouse might be. The battery might be getting a little low. It starts acting funny. Whoa! There we go. Ooh! Rig is cut off by fish teeth? Seriously? Damn it. I must have had a fluorocarbon one on. I'll be damned. Yeah, I must have. I thought I had a steel eater on this. Uh, that's alright. I've got some steel ones here. Let's. Damn, I lost my good lure, too. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. That sucks. Well, I've got another one. This is a different one. It's not quite the same as the other one, but it's... Still a Karuna Saturi 22 gram. We'll see how this one does. That had to be a pike. Damn, he had some teeth, too, didn't he? Bugger had some teeth. Okay, we're gonna let that go to the bottom there, and now we're gonna do our thing here. He's still pecking at it. Okay, there we go. Now we got him. It's like, why am I not moving? I hit the chat button. Okay, I thought maybe he got off there for a minute. No, he just came towards the... No, he's not as big as I'd hoped. Let's see what he is, though. Damn, he took it out of ways. What have I got here? A bream. A little bream. Yeah, I definitely need new batteries. <laughs> this thing is really acting weird. 
it does that its response is not that great and, and if it's just the mouse itself I got another mouse that I can get just don't happen to have it with me Oh, well, maybe he is. There we go. Wasn't sure he was on there at all. So it tells me this is another bream. Oh, no, it's a Vendace. Those are little bitty fish. They're if you get one that's you know, like two thirds of a pound, you've got a big one. <laughs> Doesn't sound like much, but they're worth a lot of XP. So they must be fairly good eating or something. Here it is. All right. Looks like we. See what we got here. Okay, this might be a fairly decent fish. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Guess I kind of expected a little better. <laughs> He's not bad. Be a little bigger. Now it is getting nighttime here, so. Should be getting more opportunities with the eels and the burbot and catfish, so I'm not certain this is the spot for catfish, but <clears throat> Yep, I thought I heard that. And if it's off a of fish, it's got to be something that likes fish. <laughs> a river mussel. Uh, be darned. Okay, let's throw this one out this way. Maybe we'll... guys it's already morning uh, not much else has happened these guys have been pretty quiet I think what I'm gonna go do I'm gonna check out that spot over here real quick with this spinning rod just see if there's that much action in regards to the pike over here before it gets too late this is the perfect time to be doing some spin casting. I think it's right over here. Yeah, there's all kinds of stick ups and cut I mean just amazing look at this. This is like excellent place for pike, for carp, a little bit of everything. Check it out. Yeah we are definitely gonna check this out just to see. I'm gonna try this one since it's sunny. Hopefully I won't get a snag. This also be a good place for, for tench. Try this lure a couple of times and we'll switch over to the blue one. Whoa, maybe not. <laughs> Looks 
like a little pike. Yep. Well, they're, they're definitely there then. Let's try over here. There's got to be something bigger than that little fella. kinds of these little ones. <laughs> I wish I had some light tackle. That would be a lot of fun. Haven't gotten to that point yet. Alright, looks like the weather is taking a turn for the worst here, guys, but Maybe that'll change our luck over here. We'll see. And it might change our luck over the theater rods, too. Gotta change this to that rainbow-looking hunter. Because it always seems to do real well in rainy weather. See what I mean? This is an awesome lure for rainy weather. We're going to have to take that up a notch or two. This is... This is a bit bigger fish. There we go. He's coming, though. I'm guessing it's... Yeah, it looks like a pike. Too bad. Not too bad at all. I don't know what it is about this lure and ring. Okay, we just got a really big bite here, guys. This may be the fish for the day here. He is really giving, taking this for a loop. I don't see him being strong enough to break this line, so we're just going to get him in here. This really heavy duty line. Come on, fish. Oh, I am going to have to ease off on that. Looks like my reel is my weakest link on this one. Quite the fish. All right, guys, it looks like I'm finally gaining some ground on this fish. I was afraid there for a while that he was going to spool me. It wasn't doing my reel a whole lot of good either. But he is definitely coming in. I 
this rain. Should start to see him now. Whoa, he's doing a little bit of fighting. He didn't want to go willingly. Here he comes. Ha oh, ha! There's a nice fish. Four point seven two two kilogram pike. Now that's a good way to end an episode, guys. That's a good way to end an episode. Alright, we are going to keep him. I think what we're going to do is go back, get our feeder rods, and end this episode. I hope you enjoyed that episode, guys. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Hopefully in better weather. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, we just got a really...